This is so sad. Friends all over the world are giving up hope on losing weight because they think that they have to give up their favorite foods to do it. I just wish there was a way to show them that they don't have to. Nicole, it's me, your fairy godmother. I am here to grant your wish. I'm gonna send you back to the time of the 1980s when you were born and when some of your favorite foods started to exist. And then you can show all of the friends that they don't have to give up their childhood foods or any of their favorite foods from any time to lose weight. <laughs> Are you ready? Bibbity, bobbity, boo. Off to the 80s with you. Oh, thank you, Fairy Godmother. I'm so excited. Yes, I can't wait. <laughs> my fairy godmother. Today I'm gonna eat like it was the 80s for 24 hours but low calorie to show that you can enjoy your favorite foods and lose weight at the same time. <sighs> and I was born in 83 and I'm excited so let's get rocking. Whoa. You like my outfit Sassy? It's beautiful. <sighs> I cut off the feet for my thermal socks to make leg warmers. <laughs> You ruined your socks. I have more. Ready for breakfast. Ready for breakfast. All right, for breakfast, I'm making French toast sticks because in the mid 80s, Burger King came out with French toast sticks for breakfast, and they are some of my favorite things to get at Burger King. I ate them pretty much every time I went there as a kid, but you only get five sticks, and they're I wrote the calories down here. They're fried and they're 380 calories for five sticks. I'm gonna make my own, gonna have way more protein, 34 grams, and I'm gonna get eight of them for 373 calories. So let's get rocking. Um, so we need a big bowl, two slices of bread to start. I've got, this is whole wheat bread from Walmart, the great value. I'm gonna take a pizza cutter and I'm gonna slice them into four sticks, each bread. Now this is a bit frozen and so it could be a little funny cutting, but I like it when it's frozen because it seems to not fall apart in the egg white mixture. Okay, so now I have my eight French toast sticks and I'm gonna make the egg mixture. I'm gonna take two tablespoons of the silk almond milk. This is the unsweetened vanilla. Shake it up. Got it? Like your 80s shaker? <laughs> two ta <laughs> Doing two tablespoons of that. Then I'm gonna do a third cup of egg whites. Oh, my egg is rolling down the counter. Don't fall, honey. Don't, don't fall, eggy. Okay, we gonna crack her. Was that Let's Get Kraken? Was that from the 80s too, that commercial to promote eggs? That's a good question. I don't know the friend. Does anybody know? Let us know when that Let's Get Kraken commercial was from. So now we got that. We're gonna put about a teaspoon of vanilla. I brought a teaspoon, but I, I'm just gonna do a behema there. That's what I think is a teaspoon. <laughs> then we have some ground cinnamon. I'm gonna do a teaspoon of that. And then we're gonna do a teaspoon of low calorie sweetener. You can use any kind if you're making this recipe. I'm using the Hudult, the harder than last time fibro powder. It's all natural sweetener. I'm gonna use a teaspoon of that. Yeah, like you know, if you got Burger King French toast sticks, they're delicious, but you're gonna be hungry in like 20 minutes. That was always the thing. Like, I love them as a kid, and as a kid, like, you don't really care, 
But when you get older, five French toast sticks is not enough to make you through like the morning. You need some protein action. You there. definitely do. And we're gonna like bake, I call it bake them, but we're gonna put them on the frying pan without oil and stuff. So now I'm gonna do two tablespoons of protein powder. And again, I am sponsored by Huddle Tarter than last time. And I'm using this strawberry cheesecake whey casein. This stuff, it really smells like strawberry cheesecake. You can use any flavor of protein powder you want, any type, um, whatever flavor you're craving. This one, oh, it smells like heaven. And um, what I love, you can use whey, but I found that casein whey protein blends bake up way better or cook way better, um, more moist and less dry. And if you do want to try the protein powder or the sweetener, the link will be in the description. Now we're gonna, I'm gonna whisk this up and then soak the bread in it. So I'm gonna dump all the breads in and soak them. And I have the pan heating on medium high heat and I'm gonna spray the pan with cooking spray and then we'll cook these babies up when it's ready to go. So I'm just gonna do one of these, toss them around, let them all get coated until they soak up as much of this egg mixture as they can. I was gonna say, are you gonna get in there with your hands? You get in there when I don't know is it just an Italian thing or does everyone like getting icky bicky in the patter <laughs> all right 80s French toast sticks here we come I'm going to carefully place them some of them may be more delicate than others so carefully lift them into the preheated pan got it there we go honey Gotta look like a French toast there, buddy. Uh, yeah, like you were saying, you'll get way more volume and the holy bread and the protein. You got a lot of things going for you. And I'm gonna be doing an hour of cardio after this breakfast, and I know that this is gonna really help fuel me, plus the other things that I'm gonna serve with it. So if there's any leftover batter, what I like to do when I make protein French toast stuff, I just spoon the batter that's remaining on top of each stick because it does soak in. All right, let's flip these up. Wow! Whoa. And they smell so good. Oh my gosh, they're looking like the old BKs, but protein here. Way and bigger. Way bigger and better cows. Way better cows. Okay, look at it. Three. Is don't do what Nicole is doing by sticking your hand in the pan. Yeah, you see, you see, this I'm silly, so don't do what I'm doing. Don't follow me. I'm just a silly gal. You see, I'm just a silly gal. It's smelling mm. good and looking good. Don't put your fingers in the pan. <laughs> <laughs> Take advice from this one here. <laughs> All right, these are done. This is so cool, like, okay, go to Burger King and get five of them for a lot of calories and you're not gonna be full, or you can make mine full of protein, which protein really helps, um, it lowers your hunger hormone, ghrelin, so you'll stay fuller longer. And also, there's whole wheat bread in there, tons of protein, tons of puff, and you'll get eight of them! What? You're getting a whole plate of French toast. A whole plate. And I'm going to serve it with half a cup of these sliced frozen peaches. I microwave them to thaw them out in the microwave. I do 30 seconds in a microwave safe mug. And then I stir them up and I do another 30 seconds. And then in... The, and in 1982, Yol Play, fruit flavored yogurt, you know the kind on the bottom, that became popular. So I'm gonna have yogurt with my French toast sticks. But this was cheaper than the Yol Play at the store and it had two more grams of protein and one less gram of sugar. So I went with this Skyr. This is from um, Zares in Canada, but you can probably find some sort of yogurt very similar wherever you are. This is berries and cherries. It is 70 calories for one, 10 grams of protein, and seven grams of sugar. Yeah, get the Icelandic style of yogurt if you're yeah. looking for your own brand. Yeah, the Icelandic style. So this is what I'm gonna be having one of these. What I wanna do with the 80s is there was a lot of good food, there was some low calorie food, but what I wanna do today is make it a little healthier, a little higher volume, and lower calories so I can enjoy all those foods, but more of it. 
I'm going to serve my French toast sticks with some of this Dora low calorie syrup and it also has low sugar. A tablespoon of this. Come on, Dora, honey. There you go. Let's put that on there. And then I love this Swerve Confectioner's sugar. It's basically sugar-free icing sugar. And I'm gonna take a spoon and just sprinkle on a little bit. I would say probably half a teaspoon. And there we go. We got a breakfast from the 80s, but we got way more protein, way more volume. It's gonna keep us way more fuller, way more longer. And I'm gonna drink it with a black coffee. And I already had a bottle of water like that. So for this entire breakfast, it's 483 calories. And I'll mention again, my serving of eight French toast sticks is 373 calories and 34 grams of protein. Burger Kings, you get five for 380 calories and only five protein. Mmm, the strawberry cheesecake flavor comes through. Mm. Good. Oh, wow. These are just as good as Burger King's. Can fuel more mm. aerobic workouts or walks. Oh my gosh. I nailed it, guys. Mm. <laughs> Alright, the friends. Finished cardio. Out of the shower. Hungry for lunch. That breakfast held me over for an hour cardio of walking and until I got ready. I'm just starting to get hungry now. And guess what I'm having? Lean Cuisine, which came out in the 80s. And I love this because I love pasta, but it can get very high calorie. So the Lean Cuisine lets me eat the pasta for fairly decent calories, and I can bulk it up with veggies, salad. In this case, I'm gonna do dessert, and I'll show you in a minute. But this is 290 calories. It's chicken, grilled chicken carbonara. Only eight grams of fat and 20 grams of protein. And chicken carbonara is linguine, crumbled bacon, and Parmesan. And like, I get to eat pasta. And the friends, I have lost 130 pounds and I've kept it off for seven years. And one of the reasons is because I don't give up my favorite foods. I never have. I choose the low calorie version like this most of the time and give myself the regular thing every once in a while. But giving myself the low calorie version lets me get out all my cravings and still eat in a calorie deficit so I can get lean but not mean and look cute in my summer clothes like these. And now I'm also going to have a crystal light because these, whoops, that's the iced tea, crystal light. These came out in the 80s. I remember these were so popular, but there weren't very many flavors where I lived, like in Ontario. Um, there's iced tea now. So I've got an iced tea one. You can have iced tea, five calories for this with water. And I don't think I've ever had the iced tea. So it's tea blend made with real tea. Oh, wow. That's really good. Like you wouldn't even know that's low calorie, low sugar, anything. Mm. Well, we like the Nest T Zero in the yes. can, so is it comparable to that? Or? Yeah, like seriously, you wouldn't even know this is Crystal Light. They've come a long way with Crystal Light. Yeah, it used to taste Crystal Lighty, like now, you wouldn't even know that that's not Nest T Zero. Well, I would, because I seen the box. Okay, and then for dessert, I'm going to have pudding pops. Now these don't look the cutest, but I bet you they're gonna taste good. So pudding pops, obviously, if you're an 80s kid, you know that Jell-O pudding pops were the thing. I ate those every day as a kid. They were my favorite. In the 90s, they discontinued the pudding pops, but then in the early 2000s, they brought out a pudding pop sort of version under the popsicle brand name but they weren't the same so for the pudding pop from what i could find they were about 90 calories per pop i made my own low calorie version and i can have two for 90 calories and this is how i made them um one box of fat-free chocolate pudding mix now in Canada, it doesn't say sugar-free, but it is actually sugar-free and fat-free, so that's the kind I use. I mix it with one and a half cups of Silk, the 
almond unsweetened vanilla and the reason I do one and a half versus two cups is because I find silk is thinner than regular milk so I don't need as much it makes it thicker if I only use one and a half cups whisk it up in a measuring cup and I put in one cup of thawed fat free 95% fat free cool whip to make it really creamy whisk that in and I poured it into popsicle molds and um, at the end I had a little bit of air bubbles so I kind of wonked it on the table and it still had air bubbles but that's fine I'm gonna eat the heck out of these anyway and um, froze them overnight and I'm gonna have two of them after I eat this and I'm leaving them out on the counter so that they'll come out of the popsicle molds easier so 45 calories per pop 90 for two for this entire meal two pudding pops a lean cuisine and a uh, crystal light and iced a tea. computer mouse that I forgot to take out of <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. Maybe mouses were made in the eight mouses were made in the 80s we'll yes. pretend. Okay, so calories for that 385 and I'm not a calorie expert like all these calories are an estimate So they'll probably be different for you depending on what you get but anyway 385 and let's taste it now that it's cooled down. I gotta get some of everything here. Mmm. 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 That's a really good. You wouldn't know that's like a diet, like lean cuisine. That's good Alfredo sauce. And I love, I wanted one with protein so that I can stay full because I know the serving sizes are fairly small, but this will help me stay full with the chicken in it. Turned out pretty good for being holy mahoney. Make my own. You see? I, I'm just doing this. Double fisting. Oh my gosh. Good? Ah. Wow! The friends, if you're gonna eat anything from this, make these. Wow! This is the best thing I ever ate! Mmm! I think that Cool Whip gives it a bit of the creaminess, right? That'd be missing because of fat free. It really but tastes like pudding pops. Wow! Dinner time! I'm so excited because Sloppy Joes were super popular in the 80s and they're still popular for my belly. Now I could have got Manwich, but it's lower calorie to do this. This is the Clubhouse Sloppy Joe seasoning and you basically just brown up your beef and once it's brown you put in a can of tomato paste and this whole seasoning with one and a quarter cups of water and then you bring it to a boil and you simmer it for 10 minutes and then it is ready. I'm going to be putting about three ounces of the Sloppy Joe mix on one of these Walmart hamburger buns. They're really good. I use these all the time because they're low calorie, 120 calories. And then I'm gonna serve it with a cup of veggie sticks, carrots and celery, and ranch dressing. Hidden Valley dressing started getting popular in the 80s, but it is expensive, so we're using the great value, regular ranch, half a tablespoon with the veggie sticks, and if you were an 80s kid, you would know about Kool-Aid. Now the blue and the green were my popular, were my popular. The blue and the green were my popular. They were my favorite. What was the blue and the green though? I can't remember the flavor, but they were my favorite Kool-Aids. So I'm using this Kool-Aid watermelon water bing, zero low calorie water bing. Yeah, you and bing it in your water. <laughs> you uh, bing it in your water. Like what do you call it? Water flavor? Well, water bing's better. Yeah. Watermelon. So I squinked a bunch in here, shook it around. I haven't tried it yet. It's really good. I tried mine already. It smelled like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. Oh, it tastes like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. I'll be using more of that. Okay, so I'm just gonna kinda do, um, put this on my scale, zero it out, and put on some until I hit about three ounces. And then I'll tell you guys the calories for the meal. Now make sure, I know how you like it extra sloppy, so. Get it, flopper, flopper. Okay, there we go, guys. So now, this is a very big point, but it's fine. Now where's your ketchup? Oh, Sappy, you don't put ketchup on Sloppy Joe's. Oh, I do. 
Trust me, I he, do. He does cool as do not. Do you like ketchup on your Sloppy Joes? Let us know. So the friends, for the Sloppy Joe, the veggies, the ranch dressing, and the water bing, we are looking at 402 calories! Mmm! Have a bite. You're gonna pick, you need a knife and fork. Are you not civilized? No, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That's so good. No ketchup. Mm -hmm. Mm. That is so good. You, they're sloppy Joes. You don't eat, you have to eat them sloppy. Yeah, ketchup makes it extra sloppy. You don't need a knife and fork, Kathy, <laughs> what? All right, for dessert, we're doing anabolic ice cream. Blizzards and TCBY soft serve yogurt started becoming popular in the 80s, so I thought anabolic ice cream would be a perfect low calorie way to make a blizzard sort of thing. If you want the recipe for this, Greg Doucette has one in his anabolic cookbook 2.0. The link for that book and his other books will be down below. We also have several different anabolic ice cream recipes in our guilt-free cookbook and the link for that is down below as well. I'm topping it with half a cup of cinnamon crunch, toast crunch cereal, but the great value kind. So this is cinnamon bliss, which we tasted it and it tastes almost identical. It's like thinner and crispier and the aftertaste is more graham, golden grams than cinnamon toast crunch, but it's pretty good. Is malt meal and, is that great value? Uh, oh, sorry, it's from Walmart. It's not great value, it's malt meal But we get it at Walmart, and it's we're doing the cinnamon bliss because cinnamon toast crunch was very popular in the 80s. So that's why I'm topping it with that. And in 2022, it was $9 for a box of cinnamon toast crunch, and we're not paying that. So yeah, that's why we're going with cinnamon <laughs> bliss. The uh, Malto Meal version. It's pretty good knockoff. It is actually, yeah. It's definitely, it gets your Cinnamon Toast Crunch out. And the flavor of protein powder that I'm using is Luckier Marshmallow by Hoodult, of course. It is not only my favorite, one of my favorite flavors from Hoodult, um, but Kid Cereal was super popular for breakfast in the 80s, so I figured why not use my favorite flavor for the anabolic ice cream for the 80s video. Getting some biceps there I seen when Look, you were flexing. I'm getting some cute steps. You seen that? Cute steps. <laughs> and uh, 383 calories for this whole Bahuma with the sear. Real. <laughs> Big bowl. Yeah, it gets you a big one and it fills up your belly. Gets you a big one. <laughs> Cinnamon Toast Bliss Malto Meal. So good. And this flavor comes out so yum. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the friends, last meal of the day. It is snack time. Diet Coke became popular in the 80s, so I'm having a Diet Coke. And for the snack part, I'm going to have two of these mini bags of Smart Pop, the 94% fat free. And the reason is because when I did my calories at first, I only thought I had 100 calories left, and one of these bags is like 90 to 100 calories. But then I realized I had more, so I'm having two. Otherwise, I'd buy, would have bought the bigger bags. And it says 90 calories per bag, but what I learned about popcorn, usually there's more in the bag than it says. So I made them 100 calories a bag. So a total of 200 calories for this snack. And my total for the day, approximately 1,853 calories, 51 grams of fat, 121 grams of protein and about 232 grams of carbs and that's it you get to eat what you love eat your childhood favorites and meet all your weight loss and fitness goals by eating cool low calorie versions of all your favorite foods what was your favorite thing today oh there was so many the the pudding pops i was really surprised by the crystal light and the kool-aid like um water bings like how good they were the sloppy joe's 
Uh, the lean cuisine was really good. Like, honestly, there was not a bad meal. You're forgetting the best one. The best one, the French toast sticks, I would say. Like, I stole a bite of one of Nicole's off camera and it was amazing. And honestly, like I said, you could use any protein powder, but that strawberry cheesecake, the flavor on that wow i've been using an anabolic ice cream but the flavor came out so much more powerful in the french toast sticks and i was like blown away by it so i think that was my favorite but like all these meals were really good i would eat this whole day all over again and the friends like i said before i have lost 130 pounds kept it off for seven years so has my sassaroonie behind the camera if you want to know exactly what i ate to lose the weight i have two weight loss ebooks the links are down below for those along with the other links for the protein and our guilt-free cookbook and all the good stuff or you can watch this video and this video for free and see how we love our food and lose weight and make it fun. And show the slippers. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> you have to wear slip unicorn slippers with your skirt. That's a rule. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Little fun from the 80s and a little beautiful food that you love. Oh! <laughs> have a beautiful day. This is coolest from the 80s out. <laughs> Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.